Hello, Sagittarius. I have your weekly three card spread reading for the week of February 16th, 2020. And I have pulled for your situation card, individuality, for your challenge card, perfection, and for your guidance card, ecstasy. I'm using the power deck by Lynn V. Andrews. I had to take a hiatus last weekend. I wasn't able to do my videos because I wasn't feeling well. I was really disappointed that I wasn't going to be able to do them, but I'm back. I'm feeling better and I'm loving this week's videos because there's a lot of serendipitous um, messages, I guess you would say, um, happening in the readings. A lot of the cards are kind of mirroring each other's messages, which is awesome to see, and I hope you enjoy. So for your situation card, individuality. When the shield carrier reaches the top of the mountain, she never seeks approval because approval is based on doubt. Your strength and wisdom are celebrated in your unique ability to view the experience of life with new vision. Power lies in individuality and the ability to see yourself through your own eyes and not through the eyes of another. To be in power, you must own your power and exist within your own individuality. The painting is entitled, Meeting the Members of the Board. People are so stuck in their ruts of everyday life that anyone with unusual ideas cannot be accepted. The Native American chieftain in full ceremonial dress is clearly an outsider in this quote-unquote civilized setting where the men are speaking of architecture and of building a city. What the board members may not understand is that the chieftain is a great individual in his own culture, and he might have the answers to survival that all of the members need but are afraid to hear. The same is true for us. We, too, are afraid of answers that come out of the unknown, out of something that is unfamiliar to us, and because the unknown is unfamiliar, we do not understand it, and we may feel the need to destroy it. That is our tragedy. To be in power, you must first be an individual. This is a North card because individuality takes strength and wisdom, the teachings of the North. For your challenge card, we have perfection. A card which I love just for the fact that it's has a beautiful message and uh, the artwork obviously is also very beautiful dream your passion fly away go through the hoop of your innermost fears and desires meet them and conquer them what pain from childhood have you not dealt with move into the wound of your most secret fears and find the seeds of wisdom that are planted there Face what upsets you the most. It is a great teacher. Give away whatever is holding you back. Insecurities, ego, fear of failure or of not being loved, fear of being alone, and be reborn into a new state of perfection. The painting is entitled Joyful Rebirth. An eagle feather tied to a branch is the eternal giveaway of humans, four-legged creatures and winged ones on planet Earth the offering in honor of higher wisdom. To find perfection, we must give away what is holding us to this earthly plane. We must give away our addictions, the blocks that keep us from perfection. We must move into the universes that live within our own souls. Introspection is a teaching of the West. Find the universal consciousness, the hovering sphere above, that resides within your own unconsciousness, a budding new earth. Shamans call this process moving into the wound of our deepest fears and finding the seeds of wisdom that are planted there. And as the tender offshoots branch out, 
grow from this knowledge into a state of perfection. And for your guidance card, we have another beautiful card called Ecstasy, which is a teaching of the West. Ecstasy is a buoyant state of joy. One of the finest ways to maintain a state of joyousness is to examine the dark side of your being, that instinctual nature that most human beings repress in civilized life. Within this instinctual nature are the seeds of ecstasy. We tend to live in our minds, in our emotions, occasionally in spirit, and almost never in our instinctual depths. We are born as wild as mountain lions, but live most of our lives like sheep, forgetting and denying whole parts of ourselves. Sit on the earth with your back against a tree and get in touch with your roots, which move deep into Middle Earth. This will restore your joyousness and balance. Each day, listen to your body, mind, and your heart. What are they telling you about a given situation? Ecstasy is like a wind horse waiting to be ridden, the last wild ride before your passage into enlightenment. Take courage and live your passion fully. And just a note, sitting on the earth with your back against a tree, this can also be done as a visualization. The painting is entitled Rapture. In this painting, ecstatic femininity is a symbol of rapture. It shows that these stones are really alive, that nature is alive. True ecstasy is reached when we understand that we are a part of every living thing and that the sphere of universal knowledge is within our own process. We have already found our way home. We are already enlightened. We just don't realize it. Ecstasy is in the West, where emotions live. Do not be afraid to move into the ecstatic emotions that are within you. They are your birthright. Do not be afraid to live in ecstasy. And so from this reading, aside from the messages of the cards themselves, I can see that this week you may be entering or in a state of um, lots of like emotions, heavy emotions maybe, uh, because two cards of the West came for you. And um, the West is the direction of emotions and of your adolescent self. And when we see this, the work that needs to be done, it's advised that work should be done in the opposite direction. And so for this reading, that would be um, the East, the place of the mind, the place of your elder self. So do something this week that will nourish your brain, um, stimulate your mind, do something different, maybe... Uh, go for a walk to a different part of, say, a favorite park, or maybe take a new route home, see some different scenery along the way, try uh, watching a documentary, something that might be interesting to you that you wouldn't normally go out of your way to watch on any normal given day, um, pick up a new book, maybe try some brain teasers, do something to stimulate your mind and your intellect this week to maintain balance of the heavier emotional aspect that the cards are showing me um, that may be something you might be dealing with this week. So there you have it. I hope you really enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you. And I'm loving all of the liking and favoriting, sharing my videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you again here next Sunday. Thanks for watching.